But now let's consider that you perform the calculations, you verified what are the duty required for this process, and the personal from operations tells you that exists a sharing to be rich exchanger in a facility, and you are able, you have the option to transfer that to the to to this service. So you get a existing sharing to be rich exchanger and use in this process. So to verify now if the hitch sharing to be hitch exchanger is worth or, or not to the servers, we need to perform the rigorous mode calculation. To do that, we just need to return to hitch exchanger. And now instead of choosing the simple a weighted, I will choose the rigorous shelling tube. You will only be able to perform calculations on rigorous shelling tube if you have the drawing of your equipment, because you will be asked for to have the pipe length, pipe diameter, shell length, shell diameter. In this case, we we'll use the standards information done by the, the Aspen High C. So we will not define what is the length or the tube diameter. We will get those information as the standards information available on Aspen High Seas. So when we shift from modes, the first thing that you must observe is that now we have a warning here telling us that the temperature are over specified. And we have this information because once I have the geometry of the equipment and I have my inlet, my inlet feeds, the cold feed and hot feed fully specified, the results of temperature and pressure downstream of the equipment or outlet of the equipment is a function of the geometry. So because of that, I cannot let the information of temperature in the heating out. So the first thing that I will do is to delete that. Now that I delete this information, I can go to the rigorous shelling tube. And the first thing that I will do is go to exchanger and I will load the transfer geometry from Aspen a high seas because I, as I told you I need to have information from the tube length the tube OD the tube thickness and etc so in order to let my life easier in this example I will load all these all those information from the Aspen high seas when I do that you can verify that my Aspen high seas are red converted because now I have all the information available for the rigorous shelling tube. But this new or this existing shelling tube heat exchanger, this is not a AEL. This is a BEM heat exchanger. And I will verify this information in the specification data sheet of the equipment. If I go to the setting plan, I can verify how it how looks like my shell into heat exchange and you can verify here that I have I have here horizontal baffles because they do not uh, reach the top side and the bottom side so this is horizontal uh, horizontal baffle and I can verify that also clicking on tube layout so here I have my my cuts related to this shell to be heat exchanger and what I was talked by the operations or maintenance supervisor is that this new shine tube heat exchanger it has a vertical baffles. It is a double segmental and also uh, vertical baffles. And I am not able to set those informations here in this screen. To do that, I need to go to EDR browser. That is a relationship or a connection between the Aspen EDR and the Aspen High Seas. Just before doing that, let's verify the performance of this heat exchanger. So verify that if I consider that my, with all these calculations, the dirty of my shine to be heat exchanger increased. And now I will do the, the modifications to verify how much will be the dirt of the shine to be heat exchanger. The, if I go to worksheet, now the temperature of my heating out is 96.4 uh, 
Celsius degree because as I have more duty associated with this heat exchanging, my outlet conditions will be lower. So let's go to rigorous shell shell in two. Click on EDR browser. It will open another tab for you, and now I can do the adjustment. The first adjustment is that according to operations or according to the shell tube heat exchanger drawing, my tube pattern is not 30, it's 45 degrees. So I have also that the buffer type is not single, single segmental, it's double segmental, and you can see the representation, what happens when you select this type. And my buffer cut is not horizontal, it is vertical. You will verify if you return it to the heat exchanger is that the Aspen High Seas already performed all the calculations. And if I go to performance, my dirty now changed from 7 point something to 5.4. But I didn't finish my settings yet. I will return it to the exchange details and I will go to the process because I need to add the information for the falling resistance. So for my hot side, I have 0 0.0001. And for my cold side, I have 0 0.0002. And it will depend on the fluid that you are working with. So now if I return to my heat exchanger and verify the performance, you can see that because of the res resistance of the fluid, now my dirty decreased a little bit. And it is higher than the simplified 